Hello and welcome back to my <clears throat> Carol Corner. So this is my fourth reading today and I still have so many um, questions but uh, this will be the last one for uh, the uh, meanwhile because my battery is going very very low. So <clears throat> I decided to do this reading about Christmas uh, for the royal family and whether it will be in winter or Sandrigan because this morning uh, Neil Sean in his video said that the Queen wants uh, uh, Christmas to go back to Sandrigan as it usually was and not in Windsor as it was first, this to uh, first uh, published. So um, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is uh, I took out my uh, trusted mini right away um, um, decks and uh, I'm going to do a reading uh, that is called, uh, that is, this, uh, this is a reading of a comparison uh, and it is called a comparison SOS reading which is uh, three cards for each uh, uh, question and the main uh, the main um, and uh, card which is the middle one is the one that we compare and uh, uh, and the card that is uh, more likely to be the one that uh, that is more stronger is the winner so let's see how it goes so uh, this is the one uh, right away then this is the second so this will be for Windsor and I will do another shuffle and clear the deck so will Christmas with the royal family Christmas be in Windsor will the royal family's Christmas be in Windsor? Will the Royal Family Christmas be in Windsor? Just one moment, one more shuffle. Will the Royal Family... Okay, will the Royal Family Christmas be in Windsor? Okay. Okay, so I'm sorry. Not one more. Will the royal family Christmas be in Windsor? And I'm splitting it into two and not into three. And now I'm taking three cards. One, two, three. Okay, now the second one. So I'll do another shuffle. And clear the deck. And will the royal family's Christmas be in Sandrigan? In Sandrigan? Will the royal family Christmas be in Sandrigan? Will the royal family Christmas be in Sandrigan? Another cut into two and what well, three cards this is the first second and the third okay so now first i'll open the, the middle card for both so here we have the hierophant which is a, a major arcana and major arcanas are spiritual cards and uh, usually they are not as good as the, the minor arcana in comparisons like that because they are spiritual and less uh, 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 taking things into action. But the Hierophant has a, a affinity to a religion and religious ceremonies. So this could may very may very well may be uh, that uh, is this will be the winner, but let's see what we have here. 
So here we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups speaks about disappointment, speaks about um, uh, not being uh, um, uh, satisfied with what you have. So this is a lesser card, although it is a minor arcana and supposed to be uh, more uh, to the uh, grounded than the Hierophant. In this, uh, <clears throat> in this question, because the question is about uh, Christmas and about uh, a, a religious holiday, then the Hierophant is the more uh, the stronger card than the Five of uh, Cups that speaks about despair and speaks about doubts and the uh, and failure. Now let's see what the cards on the side say. So here we have the Six of Cups, which is a great card. A guard, uh, this is a card of nostalgia, but this is a card also of um, uh, giving the second chances and rectifying errors of the past. And on this side we have the magician. So the magician is also a major arcana, but it is someone who is able to create from nothing. So he is the creator, he is the one who has the ability to manifest. And so all in all, this is a great reading for Windsor. Now let's see what we have here. So here we have the Seven of Cups, which is the dreamer. And the Seven of Cups speaks about dreams that can and will be come true, uh, but uh, it is a dream. So uh, this could maybe uh, because that this is something that the queen dreams about, uh, going back to normal and being able to uh, go back to Sandringham. But you can also see that the 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 figure in this card in the card of the five cup of five of cups is with its back to the dream to the figure here and th both figures are uh, turning their backs to each other so this figure cannot see this dream so this is a dream that wants to become real but this is the, uh, the despair and the disappointment that the dream did not become real. Now, let's see what we have on the other side. So on the other side, we have judgment. And judgment is another card, major arcana card. So it is less earthly, it is more spiritually. And it is a card of coming out of a of a uh, like a butterfly that comes out this is a card of a process that uh, uh, has to uh, finish has to uh, to uh, to come out this is a card of change uh, but all together the the reading for uh, Sandringham is not as good as the reading for Windsor. So in my opinion, Christmas will be in Windsor and not in Sandringham. And to end this, I will take a, a, car, a, a card of a very nice uh, uh, oracle deck. Uh, this is Crystal's uh, oracle deck. And every crystal has its meaning and its uh, uh, properties. So let's see what kind of crystal will the royal family get for its uh, Christmas. It's called the Crystal Grid Oracle. Kind of large cards that are hard for me to shuffle, but we'll do our best. So I'm cleaning the deck. And I'm asking for a, a energy for the royal families, Christmas energy for the royal families, Christmas this year. Energy for the royal families, Christmas this year. Energy for the royal families, Christmas this year. Okay, let's see what we get. And the card that I get is 
communication. This is a calanthite, Kalan, Kalan, I don't know how you call it, but this is a card of communication. So communication is the uh, major thing in this uh, Christmas for the royal family. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, uh, write me an email, write me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.